Hi guys, um, I'm going to start doing some behind the scenes videos of what goes on um, in the real world of business, at Eaton High, projects, different things we get up to. As uh, good as the shiny promo videos are, the tours and the sites, I think it's a bit more interesting to see what we're really up to. Um, especially in lockdown when it's quite quiet, a lot of it more time to make a few videos, do some personal tours of the sites, and uh, document some of the weird and wonderful stuff that you get up to. So I've just arrived here at Charles Hall Inc. Hive. Doesn't look like there's many people here, which is good. Um, I'm going to show you some of the stuff we're doing currently. So I'll do a quick tour of uh, Chandler's Ford Inky Hive. This was the first site I set up probably five years ago now. And um, I'll talk you through all different aspects here, the bits and pieces I've created over time, and how it sort of works. Obviously you can see our snazzy video, uh, sweeping video tour of the sites. I thought more interesting to give you some insight behind the scenes as to what really goes on, how we developed it and so forth. And as you see, we've got the uh, hand gel dispenser for COVID at the moment in the reception. As people are still using the site to come in and going. Got the Xbox systems. So you've got Xboxes, Playstations, all sorts dotted throughout all the sites. For those who want to have a chill and um, play some games. Um, all our sites are um, 24 hours access and essentially staffless. So we use iPad check-in systems, you can even WhatsApp some of the guys if you need any help or support. I coded this system, it's a digital signage system, so you've got Instagram feed, feed of up and coming events, so it looks like tonight I'm doing a Zoom webinar, uh, so that feeds all of our sites. What else we've got going on, we've got the Xbox up on the telly here. Uh, also, custom build photo booth systems. So, we've been doing that for quite some time, separate sort of sideline. Um, and lots of our visitors, people in the studio, use the photo booths, stick their photo on the wall. And again, we've got photo booths in most of the sites, I think, now. Uh, iPads on the wall, for clocks, and payment systems. Share communal kitchens. So this site was like an MVP originally um, and then I ripped out the original little kitchen and built this one in place. We've got plenty of space, tons of um, storage space for everyone who uses the site, big fridge, microwaves and so forth. Uh, communal sort of chilling out area, we've got tellies, so lots of our ad hoc members just drop in, use the reception space, um, you can plug into telly, have a meeting there. Got the vending machines, uh, pretty empty currently. I've not bothered stocking them up because of lockdown. Post boxes there, post boxes there. So we do lots of um, virtual office space rental. And you notice the lights go on off as all around, so I retrofitted the whole building of LED PIR lights, save some power, helps with sustainability in our economic um, climate. Worth mentioning the Jaeger machine. So uh, that was a wedding present, believe it or not, from a friend. And um, we like a party, as I'm sure you'll find out when I do some more of these videos. So yeah, we've got the egg machine. Red Bull fridges, again, looks like I've drunk all of the Red Bull on the site. Um, also built a brewery a few years ago. So I started a brewery, a micro nano sort of brewery. And this is the Brewkeeper's brand of beer, which I set up. So you brew our own beer. And all of, our own, all of our sites have um, beer on tap. Okay? And if it hasn't got beer on tap currently, it will be coming shortly when lockdown ends. We've stuck new losing recently. We've also got a shower, which we put in. So this was a toilet that we converted into a, a wet room shower uh, for those who ride bikes, etc., to work. We've got a bike rack over there. So, Let's whiz this way. And obviously, human microchip implants to get through yeah, the door. 
Here's a question. Would you microchip yourself to get into work? Or just would you put a microchip inside your body, inside your hand? Not at the moment. Why? Not, not at this moment in time, because I don't think the technology is advanced enough and I don't understand how it all works. OK, well, it's a growing trend um, and it can help you with something like buying a train ticket, uh, paying for dinner, buying shopping in, you know, Asda and Sainsbury's, what we're we talking about this morning. Get a chip in you, you can buy me dinner. I like uh, it. The first, yeah, the first UK <laughs> companies are rolling out the technology. <laughs> we're asking if this could be the future or if regulation is needed before all of us get chipped. Um, Sasha Twining has been finding out. At an industrial estate near Southampton is the human implant company Biotech. Its director, Stephen Norvum, claims they've implanted around 150 microchips already. And demand is still growing. What sort of numbers are we talking? Because this is really new technology. Uh, so currently it's three or four people a day who inquire about having microchips fitted. It might sound a bit sci-fi, but some companies promise a future where you can open doors, pay for your dinner, or even clear customs using microchips implanted in your hand. Stephen Northam runs the UK's first human microchipping company, and of course, he has one fitted. Our technology is quite simple. It's the same technology used in cats and dogs. All the data stored on the microchip itself, only is readable when it's scanned against an external reader. The implant contains a unique identifier code and uses close-range radio communication, so when you swipe your hand against the reader, it knows okay. it's... I do have an RFID chip in my um, left hand, so I can open doors at the office. I actually don't have a key to get into my house anymore. I just have swipe entry to the house. I can start my car and a variety of other things will work. Um, I can understand people have very strong views. There's big ethical arguments around microchipping people, but currently it's by choice. No one is enforcing you have to be it's microchipped. It's not compulsory. And if you're weird like me, you can turn on and there's a creaky door. Um, offices through here, so Red Red, they are a video production company. Jake runs that. He actually does our proper snazzy video tours. Through here, the mystery door into the warehouse. I'll do in a separate video. That's where the weird and wonderful stuff really happens. Cosmic Carrot, these guys are uh, video production as well. Notice we've got loads of art, which we'll see as we go upstairs. So I have quite a collection of artwork, again, which I'll probably explain as we go forward with a few more videos. So these are Dora Zombie, that's a Canadian artist. Uh, these are signed limited editions, so I've no idea what the value of the entire artwork collection is now, but we've got tons of stuff. Um, upstairs we've got Cadical, so they're a 3D design company. Polkadot Data, they are data analytics. And there is along this corridor more artwork. We're loving it. <coughs> then our open plan desk rental shared office space sort of area. Um, we've got a bathtub full of balls, because you know why not. Um, big teddy bear. We've got big teddy bears at most inky sites now. It seems to go quite well. Um, if you're stressed out, give them a hug. Also works really well for social media posts. I see a lot of those going out. In fact, I saw one recently with a mask on the bear. So interesting. Tellies, again, for people to plug in. Uh, another Xbox system. So this is one I built. Um, this was a PlayStation, original PlayStation um, console. Had a big CRT TV on the back so I've swapped out for a curved I think that's 55 or 65 inch curved Samsung stuck an Xbox one on it steering wheel pedals new seat etc and um, it's a racing simulator essentially for a bit of fun and the guys here have a, a lap time scoreboard in fact we did have one of um, Top Gear one of the presenters who came in to film a piece with Biotech the implant company with me uh, have a, a garnet so I'll see if I can dig that out slot that into the video more artwork um, nice sculpture I liked this shark I can't remember where I acquired that but it's pretty cool more art more art desk rental some of our guys sit here We've got a post box cow because obviously we've got astroturf astroturf is a theme throughout ink drive and uh, it's pretty easy to lay down on top of um, surfaces and just gives it a quirky sort of feel 
Got financial advisor guys based in here, charity based in this office, ways into work. This office was recently emptied. Um, so this one I come up to rent shortly. And um, I built and designed these pod acrylic office spaces. So I had some quotes to put glass partitions in, but it was uh, pretty expensive. So scaffolding, sheets of acrylic, and um, a couple of days construction. And we've divided the room up with some pretty cool little offices. Even built a door for this one and an RFID entry system, really just to see if it could work and how it worked properly. So that was a little project. I do a lot of projects, which you'll find out in due course. It's always this way. I've got a theatre company, video production company based in there. CP Imagery is imagery based company based in there. So you've probably seen the uh, photo studio in Charles Court before, because I've done videos on this. And we've got a snazzy promo video. And um, currently, I'm repainting our white cove. So if you look down there. Beforehand, it's pretty mucky after a couple of years of uh, quite intense use. So I'm just giving it a go over, a few coats, fill in some gaps with the roller, just to give it a completely fresh, um, nice, clean, white paint job, ready for bookings coming back once lockdown ends. And it's yeah, looking pretty good, I think. So it's a big white cove. Other stuff studio-wise, <clears throat> so you've got a huge range of kit, so more kit than people probably ever use. And also you've got our studio new Milton. which has a similar arrangement and amount of kit. TVs, etc., sound systems, projector. So you can actually project um, well, films, videos, photos, whatever you want, onto the white backdrop, which is handy. We've also got the black backdrop there. And then we've got the, uh, the changing room, a variety of props, bits and pieces, and so the makeup area. Soft boxes for a fetching fur coat. I think that was off eBay. Um, a range of props and supplies in the cupboard. So, and this is all bookable on the website online. And it's used, yeah, quite a lot really. So you get quite a few bookings here. And um, as I mentioned, the new Milton Studio is really just taking off. And again, that's bookable on the website. <laughs> spending quite a lot of time on Zoom, so I'm about to do a podcast interview um, on Zoom, so it should be quite good fun, as always, so wait and see what um, happens. So as you probably be aware, you probably mentioned, I'm Steve Northam, and um, my business journey sort of started when I was a student at university, so I set up a company as an undergraduate photography-based business which then rolled into an events-based business, which then expanded into sort of a little portfolio of companies. 
I then became a lecturer at the university and started investing in other students' business ideas, so like a Dragon's Den sort of competition. <coughs> um, that then built and developed into a range of other companies. Some of the more well-known ones, I suppose, are Biotech, which is the human microchip implant business, which I set up a couple of years ago, and that's had worldwide press, and we've shipped a whole range of people. And the biggest company, I suppose, I own is Incuhive, which is the business incubation co-working spaces. Uh, so we've got five sites currently operating. And my sort of main driver, why I do business, is for fun. I enjoy it. I like doing it. Um, I don't take it too seriously. Um, but it all seems to work quite well. So that's a whirlwind sort of tour, I suppose.
1pm. I'm still in the Charnersford Ink Live. I'm about to do a um, webinar workshop um, on web development. But I'm, while I'm here, I'm just catching up on a few bits and pieces. So I thought I'd document that. And also, this is like our makeshift Zoom um, studio. So I've got some banners up for Ink Live. And then obviously, I've got the computer here. Um, which I'll sit in front of. But I thought I'd just show you what's uh, behind the banners Cut hidden away from view and it's um, my wine fridges so shed load of booze I think it's only right that we probably have a beer while we're doing the uh, workshop later so we'll crack one of those open in a bit um, I'm also just doing office office I can't speak office signs it's too late um, so we do it all in house so we actually a vinyl cut all of the office signs all our signage um, all the graphics we do it all in house so I'm just going to run these off um, it's got a few changes few people moving in and out uh, so I thought I'd just document that as well uh, the vinyl cutter is pretty handy device we do cut and plot Start that off. I whiz round this way. This is the vinyl cutter. Buried behind a load of stuff currently because we're pretty busy at the moment. Bits going on. Um, vinyl cutter. Uh, this is in the workshop of Charles Ford, which I'll do a better tour of in due course. But if we whiz down this way. You see I've started plucking some of the vinyl and then we are applying to signs. Some are glued onto uh, the glass offices, some are mounted with little standoffs. Uh, so hopefully that's the time, half hour or so, and get those done and dusted. for the webinar it's a nice refreshing drink oh. you can't do a zoom workshop without a pint so nice you're gonna you're gonna be a busy man Easy. Mm. That's good. Right, it's nearly 10 pm. That's um, another day sorted. I think it's Thursday. It's a Friday. No, Friday tomorrow. Um, bank holiday tomorrow. But not that makes any difference with lockdown. So, uh, see what happens. Shut the gates. 